Hello, good afternoon. Good to see you, Didava. Yeah, give me a few minutes. To, it's time to set up. Yeah, no problem. For those who want to join on YouTube, I set up the YouTube also. So it's there also to be able to watch it later. Hello, dear Sherab. Hello, dear Sylvia from Germany. Thank you for supporting us. Hi, Sherab. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> In the meanwhile, hi Sylvia. So easy we can travel. <laughs> so Dava is preparing his his devices in the center of the Bhutan Stroke Foundation right now. This is where we have started already about two years ago to do meditations together, to do self-healing practices together. And the reason was that I, I felt, yeah, Hello, Dava is doing me? such, yeah, wonderful. Can hear you well. So I think I could not connect from my laptop. So I'm connecting from my phone. But I can hear you well. Yeah, okay. Maybe you can use for. I don't know how many. I have uh, asked my friend to join from Bilipu, but not sure, I think. Yes. Maybe if okay, there is a button where we have to admit or something. Um. So everyone who clicks the Zoom link is automatically in the room. So there's no waiting room here. So you have a beautiful afternoon in Bhutan. Uh, yes, today the weather is quite okay. <laughs> How many uh, degrees do you have right now? Pardon? Temperature? How how is the temperature? Temperature will be around 22, 23, I think. It's a summer right now, mm -hmm. but not that hot also, not that cold also right now. Okay. Uh, Timbu has a moderate uh, temperature right now. Mm, that's nice. So uh, maybe you can start. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm attending from the center right now. We have uh, uh, have requested other from other part, but looks like they have some connection problem. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, uh, doctor and the master Martin for your continuous service. So while well, waiting for others, I think we can start. Uh, yes, and they, they can join later, they can rewatch later. Uh, so you have uh, friends of your or members of your foundation in your center right now? Yeah, actually, uh, um, here with me, we have uh, volunteers and from the center. My programs went to Paru. I think she won't be able to join also. Actually, I have requested uh, two early learning daycare center. One is my own. I have my family uh, daycare in Gilifu. So I asked my daycare teacher, teacher to register, but looks like she's having some problem. And also there is one daycare who is really interested to take. So I have requested him. 
looks like they were not able to open the Zoom. <laughs> Maybe this is their first time. Probably so you anyway. can share the YouTube uh, link with them so they can watch on YouTube. I shared it on the Messenger of, uh, also. Sure, so. sure. But they can also rewatch. So I will start okay. and then we will see. So thank you for your kind invitation. And thank you all for joining. Thank you all who will join later. Thank you to all our friends from India who will watch later. I invited also many doctor friends and therapists who are joining the sessions but watching later so we can yeah we can practice together we can improve our self-healing together and as we already did many times and i'd like to explain to you again why we we see the big importance in promoting the energy flow in the body. This is something we all know from all kinds of traditional medicines. If you look at uh, your traditional medicine, if you look to India, Ayurvedic, Sri Lankan, if you look to Chinese traditional medicine, it's all about promoting the energy flow. And also, actually, the illness of a sudden stroke is directly related to the energy flow of the person. So there is a stagnation first in the energy flow, and then it comes to the stagnation of the body flow. And this blood flow, which stagnates, then creates the problem in the brain. So if we are able to promote the energy flow always, and there can be practice like our meditations, our mantra chanting. There can be different physical practices. There can be different diets also to watch your diet, to watch all your uh, ways of nourishing your body. But there is also very important to look uh, at all your emotions because the traditional medicine found out that very often before there is a stroke, people are experiencing lots of stress inside themselves. And this stress is manifesting first, most of the time, in the wood element, in the liver and the gallbladder energy. And if this energy gets stuck or explodes at a certain time, this creates the problem then that, that can result as a stroke afterwards. So there are certain ways of helping each other. There are certain ways of preventing from strokes. There are certain ways of understanding why it happens. And the usual way of our medicine is to work on the matter level, on the body level. That's our modern medicine. But the traditional medicine discovered this important point that I mentioned before that we need to work on our energy flow. We need to work on that because the energy leads the blood and the matter. So every stroke starts on the energy level first. And even deeper, there's always also a message where we can help also with our spiritual meditations or the so-called information medicine. So that's just a, a summary where where we are coming from and what we can do and where we can focus on because the traditional medicine discovered that the energy leads the blood. So all strokes are related to energy blockage first. And if we look at this, we can look even deeper that there was stress before in the mind. There was emotional stress before inside of us and there was even an emotion before and also an information before that carried this blockage that then materialized, that then 
becomes reality in the physical body. So what we can do and why we are doing it is that we are using the mantras, we are using certain hand positions to improve the self-healing. So we always want to use all available powers, which means that we can use certain body positions or even could use certain acupuncture points to promote self-healing. We can use mantras. We can use our mind on the one way to relax, on the other way also to help self-healing. And most important for me, as, as most of you see it in the same way, we can do our prayers. We can do our connections to the Buddhas. And this is also a very important part in using all six powers to heal ourselves. Of course, the breathing is very important because it's relaxing and bringing the so needed oxygen to the body. And we are also using in our traditions, following the teachings of Dr. Master Shah, this high frequency field of Tao calligraphies. It's a portal to the universal light out there. It's a portal to the highest supreme energy, to the creation energy, to bring health back into the body, to bring the body into its highest state of self healing. So this is something just to summarize and to realize that we always can use these beautiful six powers. So for today, I was thinking what could help you to probably research more, to go deeper. And I found that there are some special points you probably could think about to also use as a massage for your clients, for your patients, and to see how to improve over these acupuncture points, how to improve your clients, your patients, your friends, your family members' health. So if you're going to the research, you will find some special points that are there that are helping the body in self-healing. Like, for example, if you want to increase the brain function and you want to bring more energy into the whole system of the head, then there is a very special acupuncture point which comes from the, the tip of the ears going on top and on top is this very special acupuncture point on the governing, governing vessel on this meridian. It's the number 20 point of Bai Hui in Chinese traditional medicine. And even if you would tip like just using your finger for yourself or doing it with your family members just softly and lovingly, you can promote the energy flow again in your head. So just tip on this point of the head. And as I showed to you before, we can use all six powers. We can use not only this hand position, we can use a mantra. And as we know from the mantra, Om Mani, Om, Om Ahom, that this mantra also helps us to bring energy universal energy into our body, we could use the mantra OM while we doing this tipping. So we are just 
continue either for us, if possible, or for our loved ones and patients to just tip on the byway while you are chanting along on. And while you're chanting on, you also combine it with the visualization that there is coming universal light from all universe into you to improve your self-healing of your brain again. So you can breathe in and visualize golden light coming into your brain and head area. And while you're breathing out, you're letting go of all blockages that are there. So it's a good practice also with deep breathing. Very important. So you breathe in as much air as possible. And then you do as long as possible a long arm. And with every tipping on your highest point of the head, on the Bayoui acupuncture point, you just visualize coming in beautiful light into you. We said before we can combine it with our prayers also so if you have a special connection then you ask these saints these buddhas god shiva in, in hindu traditions jesus in the western traditions the medicine buddha in asia Yin avalokiteshvara you ask all of them to come to support your self-healing this is using the soul power, the soul world. So dear all the saints, all the Buddhas, dear God, dear all universal light beings, please come and join this practice to improve self-healing or to prevent. That's also very important. Even if we are fully healthy, it's good to clear blockages from the head area, to let the light in, so the energy can flow freely between all the brain areas. And because the energy can flow, also the blood can flow. So we are preventing from stroke. So we are, again, we are asking all the Buddhas to join. And not only, we are asking all our friends to join. There might be some with internet challenges. There might be some with time issues. So they all can join this practice. We invite you from our heart. Please come and do this practice with us. And we visualize that you are also receiving this universal healing light from the Buddhas, from heaven, from the source. And we also invite you and visualize that you are chanting with us the mantra so take a deep breath in again oh. you can always 
probably switch the hand so that it's easier and the other hand goes below your navel to the lower abdomen There might be situations where you are very emotional. Then you want to bring the energy down because you don't want that this powerful liver energy goes up and creates problems in the head. So if there is stress, emotional stress, or you are imbalanced because you are very angry about something, you use the Om Ah Hong to bring the energy down. You always want to bring too much energy in the head area down to your lower abdomen. So that's why this mantra is for it. That's why this mantra is so powerful. The Om Ah Hom. And that's how we can use it. Let's bring it down. And let's put our hands below the navel, just on our lower abdomen. Take again one deep breath. Visualize that huge light is coming down from the universe all the buddhas are saints are blessing you and it brings the energy down it brings the light down to your lower abdomen Om. three times so let's do it in total nine times which is kind of the short version of doing something 108 times we all know about the power of the 108 so if we add the numbers together it's nine so it's the kind of shortcut to use the special healing access that we can have in the 108 times chanting a mantra so we do it nine times so six more times. Bring the light down. Bring the energy down to your lower abdomen. Om. Three more times you just let the energy flow freely so if you feel okay the situation is getting better no headache not too much pressure here on the upper part of the body then let the energy flow and to let the energy flow you can hold the hand in a very special way like one on top of your navel and the other one below the navel and in this way, the energy is flowing freely. If you have a headache or high blood pressure, then you close the hand position to this and you gather the energy in the lower abdomen. But if you feel everything is healthy and you can let the energy move again, and there's no headache, no pressure in the upper body, no anger anymore, then let the energy flow. Om Ah Om Om Ah Om 
just feel nourished by the universe, by heaven, by the Buddhas. You feel the light coming to you, creating ease, creating relaxation, creating release of tension and blockages. And so you use this mantra, like whenever you feel, okay, there is something going on. I feel stressed. There is anger. Okay, I don't want my liver to get into too much action and to create this extreme pressure there that could be released in a difficult situation in the head. So I want to release it before. I want to prevent. Or if you have friends who suffered from stroke, and they need to mobilize again. They need to uh, reactivate their motoric uh, system. Then uh, science has proved that traditional medicine can extremely help, especially in activating, interestingly, if you know the connections, then you know why, but it's focused on the gallbladder. So if you look deeper, there are two very helpful points in the activation of the motoric system. It's not only this point we used before, the baihui on top of your head, you can tip, but also a very high point of the gallbladder, which leads to the eyes at the end, the meridian, is just one thumb below the highest point here of the ears. It's the gallbladder eight. So Whenever you feel acute pressure inside of you, you can start to massage this point, gallbladder eight. And it's also a point to prevent, but also a good point where lots of stroke patients had lots of benefits in activating this point of the gallbladder eight. So just do it for a while. And you can continue, you can continue to imagine the golden light. You can continue to imagine that all the Buddhas are blessing you. You can continue in this way the mantra OM because it's vibrating here. And you just go a little bit higher than one thumb. So one thumb higher than the ear, a little bit more. And then you start to massage these points on the left and the right. Why does it help? Because if you open the gallbladder eight point, it helps you to release the pressure here, the headache, which is caused by too much liver energy. So if you already feel dizzy, if you already have a blurred vision, if you already feel heaviness in the head because all this anger, all this stress went up, then you need to have a fast way to bring this down or to release it. And this is how it works. You just massage this gallbladder eight point here. And you can use it with all arms that you can chant with all the connections you have. You ask all the Buddhas, all the saints here to come. And you open this gallbladder eight point so that this too much energy who might be there can be released immediately. It's like the open it. So it doesn't cause any problem here, wherever. And you uh, take a deep breath and then you make a long arm. could stay here at this point and give a little bit more pressure and see if you feel any kind of pain. If there's some pain, just stay there. 
and breathe to this point and breathe out all the pressure there, all the blockages, all the pain there. For me, I don't feel any pain here. But if you feel it's a good sign that you found a helping point. It's kind of an, if you want to call it, emergency point. If you feel pressure comes up from the lower part of your body, from the middle part, from the emotional storage of anger and stress of the liver, then you can release it here and get more relaxed. So something which I want to inspire you, do some research in it, go to internet and see what you can do to promote this very fast help for yourself. Because another point on the gallbladder meridian is the gallbladder meridian 34 point, which showed, and you can write it here, you can read it here, that lots of patients treated with this point could see lots of improvement in the motor function of their body. So that's the most common problem of a stroke that you want to reactivate the motor related brain regions so that the body functions, the movements and everything starts to work again. How to find this point? More easy or the same as easy on your head. You see it um, on the right side of your knee. You're going down to your knee, you have your knee, and then you touch yourself on the outside. And below the bone, there is a kind of little, like, like a little hill, and there it goes deeper inside, on the outside. And in this space, there is the point of gallbladder 34. And this is what you like to use for all the people that are already had a stroke and they want to improve their uh, muscle functions, their body functions again. They want to be able to walk better again or move their hands, whatever. So you can touch and find it easily, as I said, below your knee on the outside and there you feel it in your body, it goes a little bit deeper into the bone area. And this is very fine gallbladder 34. So why I'm telling you, because I want to inspire you to do it yourself. I want to inspire you to find ways to easily promote the energy flow. So what is this point doing? This point is activating very smoothly, the liver chi flow again. And whatever ever happened there can be a stagnation in the liver. So it's helping you to, again, uh, releasing all heaviness. It's helping you again to releasing some tension in the tendons, muscle stiffness, and all the, the problems that the muscles are not working on it properly working anymore. And in this way, research showed that the motoric function of the body started to react again. So what are we doing? We are going there with our hands again, below the knee, on the outside. And then we just massage this area. And doing the same, we are imagining that lots of light is coming from the universe into this very special part of the body. So important. So we imagine that lots of light from heaven is coming down and going directly here into this part here. So we imagine, okay, lots of light coming inside here. And in this way, we are helping the body again 
both sides, of course, left and right, to reactivate the muscle functions, the tendon functions. And we are helping the body with the motoric system to be rebuilt and, yeah, to be activated again. So again, we can use the Om Aho. Or you have a preferred mantra that you are chanting. Then you chant your preferred mantra while you are massaging yourself at this point, while you are imagining that lots of light is coming down here and helping your whole body to be restored, rejuvenated, to be healthy again, so that you can use your arms and your legs again in full potential. And you have some friends that suffered from stroke, you do the same, you imagine that in this point, they are massaged kind of out of our mind, out of our visualization, they are not here with us, but we imagine that this point now opens with all our friends who are suffering from stroke after stroke challenges. And we imagine that light goes in there and is helping them so that their motoric functions of legs and arms and mobility and everything, that they can walk easier, that they can hold things again. And like we did, we used the Omaha. It's an amazing mantra. So we ask all heaven, the source, all Buddhas, all saints, please help us. Please support us in this function of our body. Please open all the meridian points that needs to be healed. Heaven knows more. The medicine Buddha knows everything. Ask the medicine Buddha. He knows exactly where he, he will give you the healing. So all the friends of the Buddha and Stroke Foundation, all the patients connected to you, please come and join this practice. We open the gallbladder meridian point 34 to receive the healing light from the saints, from the Buddhas, from the universe. And you can massage, you can press them. the recording you could pause here and continue so this practice gonna be more stronger as long as you do it and the longer you do it the better very powerful i can feel the energy already coming so what are we doing we are helping here bringing lots of light inside of us. We are helping here especially our wood element, where the gallbladder and the liver is connected to. We could also use a special sound that comes from the highest source. In the Hindu tradition, probably in the Tibetan tradition, probably in your tradition in Bhutan, you will call it this supreme energy. So there are mantras who are connecting us not only to a Buddha, which is amazing already, but they are connecting us to this highest source where everything comes from, where the Buddhas came from, where all the human beings are coming from. So we connect to this creation energy and related to what we did right now to open the gallbladder meridian, we can use the mantra Shu to support 
the water element. Sorry, to support the wood element. And the wood element then gets activated. So if we see it here like this, we are using the mantra Shu to bring more positive energy, healing energy, blessings into the wood element, then we have a multiple effect. We know from research that the muscle functions are getting better, the tendons are getting better. So after stroke, a very important part to get reactivated again. But we also know that the Shu is releasing tension from the liver. So if we're experiencing lots of stress, we also can use the Shu to release this stress. So it can be used for prevention, but also for self-healing. Because here, we don't have to wait until too much stress causes problems inside of us. We can release it before through chanting. So let's experience it also for a short time. You can let your hands on your liver area, like just below the heart on the right side, coming from the middle, like here. That's my right side and in the middle. Let's hold the liver area and the gallbladder. And you take some long shoes in you, so to bring the highest healing of the universe inside of you. To heal and balance the wood element where the gallbladder and liver belongs to. Shoo. very powerful i can feel my liver like kind of pumping physically my liver is physically reacting to this mantra Shri And you can continue. If you are with a beloved one, with a friend or family member or a client or patient, and you want to massage these points that I've shown you before, the gallbladder 34 point, for example, and you massage below the knees on the outside, this area, you can chant the Shu for this person. And you are imagining that the universal light is coming to the person and the muscles are activated. Whatever is needed is activated so they can use their legs and arms and hands better. So let's do it just silently again. And just in silence inside of you. And imagine that the light is going in here. And if your friend who suffered from a stroke, he feels that his legs are getting warmer. He feels that there is more energy again in the arms, in the legs. So you can feel and help him and inspire him. Okay, let's 
Let's continue. That's a magical point to support you that your leg function, your muscle function, your motoric is getting better and better. Shri If you have any chance, if you are a doctor or a therapist, get this amazing book. Get the book of Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. Everything is explained there. All the connections of the elements, all what you need to know that to help someone in self-healing and promote their energy flow again. Like what we did now, the Shu. We just used the mantra for the wood element so that the Qi in the meridians of the liver and gallbladder are flowing freely, that the Qi is getting better and better there. So there is a way to again help the body to become more healthy and strong. So you have these videos here and we will do it again just one time to use also the animation here. You see, wood element, we go to step two, we did the step one already. And we imagine our liver shining. She, 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 she. idea of how to use the mantra so what is my message of today we can combine all the traditional medicine we can combine the knowledge and we don't need to exclude anything of course i have also my personal struggles with the modern china how they live, how they do, how whatever they, the government there is doing. But they have thousand year old knowledge that we can use, still use, and it's not connected to the modern time. So we can use all this ancient wisdom in traditional medicine. We can use the five element wisdom. We can use these points here if we feel, oh, there's heaviness in the head. There is stress. Okay, I need to release this stress that call, came already up from the liver. And we can use these special points if we know where they are to reactivate the body again. So it's just an example, but it's a very powerful way. And we always combine it and can combine it with said having a book is wonderful because in the book, you're also having the sixth power, the Tao calligraphy, that helps you to connect even higher and bigger. So we all have our connection to heaven and we are having our connection even wider if we use special channels, portals, which the Tao calligraphy is one because it's the writing of the source. It's the writing of the supreme energy bringing us into this connection even more. So for the final time now, the last 10 minutes, I just invite you to a short meditation and it will be a meditation with the Medicine Buddha and combining it with Tao Calligraphy. So I'm asking the Tao Calligraphy, which is specially written for the wood element. Again, like always, Never take pictures, never use copies of shown calligraphies. You can always use the video and press pause to 
take yourself for writing, but never take pictures, please. So, this Tau calligraphy has the power to support our wood element. So, dear Tao calligraphy, Shugan, which means smooth liver, soft liver, relaxed liver. We love you. Please bless us. Please support us. Please help us in self-healing or preventing from stroke, wherever you are. We are so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will start and then I will go into the mantra of the Medicine Buddha, because I know many of you in Bhutan are connected deeply to the Medicine Buddha. If your connection is to Allah, connect to Allah. If your connection is to Shiva, connect to Shiva. They are all friends. They all want to serve. They all want to help us. They are all in a loving relationship with each other. So dear all our heavens support, all our heavens team, please come for this final blessing. Please come and bless us either to receive healing or prevention of any sickness. We are so grateful. And here specifically to balance and strengthen our wood element, which are the liver and the gold letter, and much more. So we will feel relaxation. We will feel the light coming here. We can imagine that this green light here, green to support the wood element, is starting here and coming here from heaven to serve us, to bless us. You can follow with your hands also, like this way. So you can use whatever you like to use as a mantra. You can use healthy liver as a mantra, or healthy gallbladder, as we did before, because we wanted to support our gallbladder. Please heal my gallbladder. Thank you. Please balance my gallbladder. Thank you. Please strengthen my gallbladder. Thank you. Please heal my gallbladder. Thank you. Please heal my gallbladder. Thank you. Please heal my gallbladder. Thank you. And then I start again from top. And connecting now with the Medicine Buddha, we love Medicine Buddha. Please come and join. We love you. We honor you. We are so grateful. Please join us. Help us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Feel the blessings. Feel the blessings of your heaven team. Can be Buddhas, it can be Hindu saints, can be the saints of the Islam, it can be the saints of the Christian tradition. They are all there for us. Always take them with you in your self-healing journey. Use the medicine you trust in. Use the traditional wisdom. Use the amazing wisdom about the five elements, about the acupuncture points. Use the six power technique, as I showed you. It's the combination of everything. Use the hand positions, the mudras, use the acupuncture points, use the mantras as the sound, use the visualization to visualize healing light. So if you connect with the medicine Buddha, use his blue light shining to the area you want healing, you request healing. Use these prayers, use your connections. Use the healing of the breathing. And of course, you always can use Tao calligraphy in the videos and the books of Dr. and Master Shah. So just the final blessing to receive from the calligraphy to you. 
combined with all the light and the blessings of the Medicine Buddha and all the saints that are here to support you. Always finish the tracing of the calligraphy to the end. Absorb the light, the healing light of the calligraphy. Absorb the healing light of the medicine Buddha. Absorb the healing light it came from the universe through the mantras to you and show your gratitude inside of you you can always like make your personal way of showing your gratitude not to me it's it's not me i'm just your servant to to show you some ideas that you will further do and practice. But there is the Medicine Buddha, there is Krishna, there is Shiva, there is God, there is Allah, there is Muhammad. There are all the beautiful saints and holy beings that are there for us, wants to serve us. So we are deeply grateful to all the mantras, to all the connections we have, to all the wisdom we have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to the calligraphy that is serving us today. Thank you to the mantras, thank you to the saints. And we send the saints also respectfully back. That's the closing of a practice so that they also can rest so thank you thank you thank you we love you we love you we love you we ask you gratefully to return thank you thank you thank you kong song, kong song, kong song. so thank you everyone for joining i can open the mics again if you wish to share how you feel uh. First of all, <clears throat> thank you, Doctor and Master uh, Martin. Uh, the wonderful thing I felt today is the, the, the acupuncture thing. So our foundation is trying to send one traditional doctor to get the acupuncture training, actually. Yes, we Great. are looking for this. So we got the sponsor, but we are looking for the institution who can provide her the acupuncture training. So I myself uh, and my wife uh, have received the acupuncture thing and it is very useful actually. And also today the, with the, your blessing with the acupuncture point, I think this is really uh, helpful. And uh, we would like to continue actually. And I also would like to th thank other participants I can see Lots of new participants from other yeah, parts of the I'm having two friends here from uh, Austria and Germany, Hertha and Silvia. And we're having a friend here from India, Dr. Mahmoud. He's also an. Hello, sir. How are you? Let's say hello. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? 
I'm growing, doing you great, sir. How about yeah. you? Session awesome. was very, very peaceful, very great as usual. I again started feeling that like, deep sleep, but I controlled this time, mm -hmm. and it was really very, very healing. I I can feel the healing. Uh, I don't know. I don't have that words to thank you. You are great. You are a great master. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Actually, uh, Dr. Mahmoud, what, what are you practicing? Are you having a, a special, um, I don't know, clinic or anything? You are serving the people. What are you doing? Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, in few words, I'll finish. Uh, I'm a, Basically, I'm a physical therapist, oh. chiropractor, acupuncturist, a healer and a social worker by the grace of Allah, <laughs> by the grace of God. Amazing, because that's where Dava sir also comes from. He's a social worker and you don't know his Great. history yet, but his wife uh, yeah, suffered from a stroke. So he started to discover about strokes because it was not known before in Bhutan. And he started to create this Bhutan Stroke Foundation, which is now helping the people of Bhutan. And imagine there's only one a neurosurgeon in Bhutan who can help people. So there's so much need there to help the people after stroke. And uh, yeah, so Dava is doing amazing, amazing work. And probably can stay in contact so you can share ideas and probably you have oh, also some definitely, ideas. Definitely, definitely. Thanks for your kindness. Definitely we will, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and uh, I can connect both of you. Um, both of you, you are on WhatsApp, so you can share ideas. And since uh, the Mahat Sir is uh, the professional therapist and acupuncture, I think. Tomorrow I'm going to meet with my uh, therapist here, so I would like to share, you know. May I, you're from which India or from which country? Kansa? <laughs> so you have to unmute, I think. Your mic? Anyway, I think, yeah. So... Uh, no, he's from he's from India, yeah. Yeah, yeah, India. There is very near. Yeah. So, I'm from South India, South India, Hyderabad. Okay, okay. So Beautiful. you have lots of uh, health professional here. So good to be connected through Doctor and Master Shah. So I am already connected with so many <clears throat> great soul around the world. Actually, thank you, and hope to see you next Friday again. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Thank you so much. Nice to Thank see you. all the great souls together here. <laughs> the same for Feeling us. Feeling very blessed. Thanks to my Thank master first. Big <laughs> thanks to my master. May God bless him. May God, God. keep showering mercy upon him. Every God time. bless you. <laughs> He's a great, great, great personality. God bless you. And I love you all so much. Thank you so much for your great help. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. We love yeah. you too, sir. <laughs> so have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for your time. It's always my joy to be with you. And thank, thank you so much, sir. Bring heaven's support to us. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night.